It's a great night for soccer in Baltimore. It's the Baltimore Blast and Kansas City Comets here on Twitch. It's MASL Soccer. Paul Mittermeyer, Andrew Primrose have the call for you tonight. Andrew, these two teams, the Blast, 7-1 and one at home. They've outscored their opponents by huge numbers. They've scored 11 goals twice, 10 goals, 7 goals against the Harrisburg Heat. They've been on fire at home. They've struggled on the road. Kansas City comes in. These two teams a battle for third place in the Eastern Conference. Kansas City, though, has the same issues. They're 7-1 and at home, but they've just got one road win on the season. Yeah, absolutely, Paul. You hit the nail on the head. Two very similar teams experiencing similar things, and they're fighting for the same playoff spot. If you look at Kansas City's uh, uh, schedule coming up here, the next five games, three against Baltimore, one against Milwaukee, one against Florida. It's, they're either going to be in first place or they're going to be in fourth place or somewhere in between be, based on that schedule. And uh, it's, it's really interesting. The point totals right now, Milwaukee at 30, Florida at 29, Baltimore and Kansas City both at 26. Baltimore has the tiebreaker with the regular season wins. I don't know. We'll get a calculator and a computer and an advocate out later and figure it all out. But third and fourth place, two teams fighting, two evenly matched. And, and really what's going to make the difference in these next three games somebody can steal a win on the road yeah no doubt about it a big night for the eastern conference tonight the blast here against kansas city for third place and then a first place battle as florida takes on milwaukee as well so we'll keep our eyes on that game also when you talk about the blast we've talked about lucas roque all year long 28 goals but the key offensively especially at home has been the other guys contributing over the last four or five games yeah just a spread and it's kind of going back to that old school blast mentality the first couple games of the year didn't look like a traditional blast right it was a lot of running through one guy now it's you know we've done 11 10 guys on the score sheet every game and that's really that blast mentality of open guy taking the shots now zach regette as well what a story he's been since being traded and acquired by the Comets. Yeah, so two trades this year, and you don't see that very often with one of the most talented target forwards in the league and, and really one of the best goal scorers in the league. So he gets uh, that short uh, period, and Harrisburg does well in Harrisburg and then gets traded here at Kansas City that first game. I mean, man, it is. Can you say revenge, Paul? Uh, goes up against the Florida Tropics. Five goals in that game. He's played three goals now. Three games for Kansas City. Has 9.7 goals, two assists for them. He's obviously, anytime he's on the field, he's the player to watch. No question about it. Now, when you talk about Kansas City, though, they've, of course, got all kind of scoring. Of course, and Sosa and, and Sosa. We'll talk more about that. Let's go to the field now, though, as it's time for America. the God Bless America and the National Anthem. The Children's Chorus of Maryland. Children's Chorus of Maryland. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing. Gentlemen, remove your hats. Members of the military and veterans salute. 
and everyone else, place your hand on your heart as we honor America under the direction of Mrs. Ashley Foster. Please welcome the Patapsco High School Great Expectations Show Choir. The Patapsco High School Great Expectations Show Choir. And how about a nice round of applause? No, 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 we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. Major, Major Arena Soccer League, proud to welcome you to MASL Soccer on Twitch. Just about ready for soccer here in Baltimore. Alt Sports Data is the official sports data partner of the Major Arena Soccer League. All Sports is a San Diego-based leader in trading and consumer data for action alternative and emerging sports. And if you're watching the game tonight but you can't make it, if you want to come out to a game live, check out SI Ticks. Visit Sports Illustrated Tickets for the best tickets to see the MASL action in your favorite arenas with no fees at checkouts. Getting back to the comments, Andrew. Sosa, Sosa and Sosa. Sosa, Sosa? Sosa and Sosa, 27 and 27 this year. Uh, two more offensive weapons for the Comets. Yeah, a lot of balance on that Kansas City roster. Obviously, you see and you look and recognize guys that have been here a long time and, and really set what they do. You see Ramon Palmer out there. You see Leo Gibson, of course, the, the face of the franchise. But uh, a lot of balance and, and some quality goaltending as well for them. Uh, and then you bring in Zach Regett and really give them that, that, that target forward, that goal scorer. Uh, that everybody has to match up against. It's a handful for the blast back line who are without Mike Diesel tonight, as he's not with the team now. Uh, Odo Abasi back from injury. He'll play tonight. And it's a big challenge for Patrick Thompson, Nelson Santana, and those guys on the back line. Yeah, absolutely. Mike came and did a good job coming in. Of course, the blast dealt with a bunch of injuries. You saw several players that started the season uh, down. And then you see Patrick Thompson, who was a bit, uh, in season acquisition. The blast were really lucky to have him come. Uh, but with Adriano not out there, and then Mike down, you know, had retired before the season, came back, filled in. Uh, this back line really is it, predicated on William Vanzella making the stops and the whole team playing defense. Take a look at our starting keepers for tonight for the Kansas City Comets. Nicolou Neto, 8-4-3 with a 4.98 goals against average, 7.58 save percentage. He also has one assist on the season and 219 saves this year. And for the Blast, uh, number zero, William Vanzella back in between the pipes for the Blast. 8-4-1 with a 4.17 goals against average, 7.72 save percentage, and 176 saves. And Andrew may be the best game of the season from him. Last time the Blast were here at home, the 7-1 win against the Harrisburg Heat. Yeah, I mean, he's just playing lights out right now. And he's, he's feeling uh, better, right? Like, he's feeling physically better, and you can see that. So, see that? See Leo Gibson step out there. We talked about him. Comes into the game with uh, 298 career goals. Andrew, out, so hot, hot. Andrew, we talked about Regett. And it's, you know, the unique fact for Regett is that he, uh, he will have played here in Baltimore with three different teams this year, the Tropics, the Heat, and now the Comets. Yeah. And before the game, Regett and 
Vanzella and some of the other guys were just joking around. They, they almost feel like teammates because they played each other so many times. Yeah. He's been here a lot. He recognized me. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, uh, you know, you don't see that often. And then, you know, various things happen in Florida. Of course, Harrisburg did well to, to uh, you know, move the assets and the pieces and, and build their team out and got three very good players back from Kansas City in exchange for him. Under, but, uh, underway quickly, the Thomas start with it. Benji, Montreal, kicks it into the netting above the goal. So we get a goalkeeper distribution for the Browns. So I think we're already seeing what we're, we're going to see from Kansas City, and we've seen this from other teams. Shoot the ball when you come into Baltimore. Nothing has been too successful for other teams the last few games. As the Blast have just one home loss all season. That was to the Florida Tropics earlier this year. And it's been a massive goal differential when you talk about the last four home games. 11, 10, 11, and seven goals scored for the Blast. Well, one of those games, or three of those games were against Harrisburg. You kind of expect that with Harrisburg on the road, young team. But one of those sandwiched in there was Milwaukee. And that Milwaukee wave game, the Blast gave up three of the first four goals and then stormed back and scored the last 10 in that game to win that. Yeah, it's, uh, I had to call with Tariq on that one, and I said early on in the first quarter, you know, this is clearly not going to be an 11 to 3 type of game. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, big drive there, just wide. Blast come out now, maybe with some numbers, but a nice defensive play there by Souza. Now counterattack. Benzella way off the line to make that save. Ooh. Off the chest that time. <laughs> Uh, the official well position there is uh, that looked like William was going to pick up his third blue card of the season for a handball. He's got to tuck those arms back. Yeah, Paul, you're doing it. He makes us nervous when he goes out there, but I mean, nobody better. And obviously, in that situation, you got to cut the angle off as he was left all alone. Sosa, the driver around the boards, and that's headed out of play by Flores for Kansas City. And we're going to throw in for Vanta. Crowd here tonight in Baltimore. Raining and sleeting. It's a Friday night. Great crowd for all that going on. Glasgow short and then quickly upfield. Okay, back for Pereira. Pereira Trump's on the far here. side. Pereira around his man. He's taken down. Foul called. That's something we've seen out of the Blast offense the last several games at home. We're seeing that one-on-one -on -one matchup on the far side. And Juan Pereira, who started out the season in a goalless drought, really has picked up when he's getting those one-on-one -on -one matchups. Not many players can stick with him one-on-one -on -one in that kind of space. Sosa picks up the foul for Kansas City. Here's Obasi on the field now. Rayleigh. Now Max Ferdinand. Good ball for Roque. That's stolen away. Good defensive work, but the Blast take it right back. Ray Lee with the steal there momentarily. Yeah, if Ray Lee doesn't step in there in front of Roque on that ball, Roque is going to turn and he's going to score. Well, pressure now. Neto straying from his box. Kansas City handles it. Look for Reget, but that's too far. Obasi runs it down in the corner. Reget steals it on the turn. Thomas steps in, but it's going to be a possession for the Comets. Kansas City had an unmarked player in the box, but couldn't get him, couldn't find him. Lee pressured by Roque, and chip forward, goes to the corner. Sadal runs on, Gibson a drive that goes wide. And Leo loves walking on this field. He's, he's dangerous from midfield here. <laughs> from midfield, he might shoot from his own bench. Good battle along the boards. Marks goes around Obasi, goes down, plays it out. And Comets retain possession. Lee with a good settlement on the far side. Gibson surveys the field and drops it to the far corner. Still push here and a foul called on Sadal and get a free kick for the Blast. Still real early, but what we're seeing out of Kansas City that we haven't seen in the last four games here at home with the Blast have had such huge advantages. A lot of time of possession for Kansas City early on, right? They're keeping the ball. They're winning back balls after shots. It's been a big weapon for the Blast. Even when they lose possession in the offensive end, getting it back right near that line. Quick drive just wide by Mello, as it wasn't hit hard, but it was well meant by Mello, and he just missed one. 
steal by Gonzalez. Good cut for Mello, but too, too bad of a touch. And Neto feels it in the box. One touch by Palmer. Gibson clears it to space. Nice job there. That's such a good pass. Foul called. Benji went around his defender. And maybe a break for the blast because he was on goal. Again a drive. That's just wide. Zach with the left foot that time. Blast clear. Comets bang it right back in. Mello chest it down for Vanzella. The blast will set him. Go back to that Gibson pass, right? He just recognized it. It's instantaneous. It's just space. He finds it and then sends it over. Now you're better off kicking the ball to space here than holding it. Yeah. The ball to Hughes on the far side from Donatelli, who's on the field for the first time. Talked uh, last home game about Donatelli and how much he means to this team as far as wins and losses go. Tough road trip for the Blast last weekend. One goal loss to Harrisburg. And then uh, three goal loss to Utica, 5-2. Blast really struggled to find the offense in those two games. Well, they found the offense in Harrisburg. How about that game with Vosvik? I mean, they had six or seven balls that were should have been in the net, just didn't go in. I mean, they, they, they had the offense except for the goal scoring. It was crazy what happened there. And then Utica, it's always tough on that road back-to-back. -back. And, and what's tough for the Blast is they were right there in that third quarter. The two goals in the 46 seconds, and then the wheels kind of fell off. How about, how about that play? in the fourth quarter, the restart for the Blast in Harrisburg where they left it for, I believe it was Donatelli, and Brain was standing there. They beat the keeper. Brain was standing there, and he headed it out. Uh, twice in the same play. Still can't yeah. figure out how he got there. Yeah. No, <laughs> and that head ball, when we were in the arena, that head ball went up a good 20, 30 feet. I mean, I don't know how he didn't get hurt. Thomas looks for our... Gonzalez looks for a way out. Now Rayleigh, a little chip for Ricardinho. He runs it down off the official. Ricardinho gets kicked from behind. Harrisburg's built a nice little home, home field advantage up there. They get good crowds, and uh, they built a little something up there at home. Uh, it's kind of seeing that across the MASL, right? Teams are winning at home and hard to win on the road. Pereira blows by his defender off the boards in front, and it's kicked away. Pereira wins it back for the Blast. Good chance there for Baltimore. Isolation on that left board. Nobody's sticking with them. So far, the Blast have uh, had some good chances, but Kansas City credit them some good defense. Santana's outlet blocked. Benzella to the far side. Thomas with a good ball for Roque. Lucas has some space. Drags it, loses it, and stolen away by the Comets. Maybe one touch too many that time for Roque. Good settle along the boards. Quick turn for Rickett. He's deep possessed by Ferdinand. The defensive play there by Max. Deep possessed. That's, that's oh, here's a chance. Quick turnover. Rickett shoots. Oh, Van Zell with the big save. And then William blasts it up into the crowd. And this will be a top of the arc restart for the Comets. An incredible save from Vanzella there as the pass comes down just outside the officials' timeout, so we'll go stay in here. But, uh, you know, great play from Vanzella. I think he thought he was going to get the board there. He did on, not. Uh, yeah, but he, he did not get the board. A dangerous restart opportunity. Leo Gibson here. A lot of weapons on the field for the Cubs. Here we go. Gibson surveys. Sosa to the corner. Regette off the boards and cleared. Nice job there by Mello. On Nelson Santana going down low, getting that block. Giveaway. Here's Max. Again, Comets committed to getting back defensively. It's kind of funny that Blast are, are the countering team right now, and Kansas City's that repress, keep possession team. They're out blasting the Blast right now. Oh, drive blocked by Gibson. Mello kicked away by Regette. Nice play far side in this drive by Souza is into the netting. And we'll get a goalkeeper distribution as far as long as they go, as, as soon as they go, get the ball down from the other side of the field. That uh, was wild. Went all the way to the far board. Gonzalo plays long for Gonzalez. 
Double team comes now. Gonzalez with some physical play along the far boards. Digs it out there for the blast. Rotated near side Hughes. And back for Vanzella. Hughes near side. Josh with a step. Plays the boards for Gonzalez. Double team comes. He gets taken down. Play on. Ricardinho. Donatelli. Cuts it back off the boards in front. Loose. Oh, Gonzalez was there. Donatelli gets tripped up. And a blue coming out for a handball as Neto reached outside the box. Yeah, absolutely. Tony Donatelli pulled it back, stepped across. And, I mean, it, it was very close. I think I would imagine we'll get a replay here. Uh, yeah, we'll probably see that challenge flag here real quick because that was... Well, we'll get a timeout, and that'll give Kansas City a chance to think about it. Timeout, and we'll take one, two, 721 left in the first. We're scoreless. The possible shootout coming up for the blocks. Back with more on Twitch. Antwerpen Automotive is your number one hometown dealer. Antwerpen makes finding your next vehicle easy. With over 2,000 new and pre-owned vehicles, Antwerpen has the right selection for you. Plus, only Antwerpen offers the 20-year, 200,000-mile warranty. They save you time and money. Visit any of Antwerpen's 12 area locations or visit them online at jacksaysyes.com. And remember, when I say yes, you pay less. Jack's playing baseball now, and Sam inherited her dad's love of chemistry and his teeth. And I'm learning that having a family is expensive. Well, at Wise, you can find plenty of ways to save on things your family loves. And less money on groceries means more money for... everything else. That's awesome. That's Wise. Eat better. Spend less. That's Wise. All right, back here, back here in Baltimore. Penalty on Neto, handling the ball outside the box. So we still haven't seen the challenge flag. And they need a, they need a player. Second player, yeah. Second player in the box. MASL Soccer brought to you by Quintus. App card wallet. Quintus has everything you need to manage your money your way. Visit Quintus.com today to learn more. Here we go. Pereira will take the shootout for Baltimore. Oh. So. <laughs> Slightly early. <laughs> Play the game morning on Kansas City. That's not the worst thing to take, right? You psyched him out a little bit. You see which foot he's going to lead with. I mean, yeah, but now it's a penalty next time. Here we go. Up, save. Neto kicks it and saves it way into the crowd. Blast power play, 42%. Kansas City penalty kill at 64%. They're pretty good. So that was actually Teleski in because Neto served with the penalty. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah that's uh, Teleski who's out there. Save. Kansas City looks to clear. Blast back with it now in the offensive end. Donatelli on the far side. It's Donatelli, Mello, Gonzalez, Pereira. There's a good, no, it's not a good clear out of play. And then Roque is there as well. Top of the arc restart for the blast. It'll most likely be Gonzalez here. Uh, Kansas City's going to be forced to go with a two man wall in this situation. And... <laughs> Tough one here. Here we go. Gonzalez cuts it back. Shot save. Good job there by Tekeski to get over that time. 118 wow. left in the power play. I guess everybody thought it was going to be Moises, right? Lucas had a great opportunity there, just a real good save. There's Telly, another, one. another great save. Quickly down the boards, chance here. Blast have numbers. Mello. Okay. Gonzalez can't pull the trigger. 50 left on the power play. Shot goal. Donatelli from just outside the arc. 
and it's one nothing Blast. Uh, great movement from the brass. They didn't get frustrated. Moises Gonzalez missed the chip and just didn't even touch another foot. They stayed focused. They kept the ball moving back and forth. How many times have we seen from there guys put the ball up into the seats? Wow. Not only does Donatelli keep it in play, he puts it on target and scores. Well, and it, he didn't, it wasn't as hard a shot, right? It was a low line, like just right on the ground, a grass cutter. Uh, that follows, and that's exactly right, Paul. It's about placement, not exactly power there, especially when you know the goal is going to be coming back across on that shot. Time of the goal, 8.51. Donatelli. Donatelli picks up goal number 11 on the season. So this will be a pretty dangerous restart opportunity. Uh, maybe push back a little further than I thought it would be. Mello picks up assist number 15. Time of the goal, 851. But here we go. So so a chance here. See if the comments can re respond here. Far side, shot, save Vanzella. Gonzalez clears. Dangerous opportunity there. If Pereira can win that, may have a shot on goal. Inches. Ball goes, ball goes by Regat. Long distribution. Roquet off the bench. Oh, nice job. Good D there by Souza as he headed it back for his keeper. And Comets look to break the blast pressure. Souza shoots. That's blocked. Good touch by Neto. Good ball to the far side. Ray. Lee has it. Steal by the blast. Oh, look at Rayleigh go all around a man on the boards. Nice play there. Caps keeps it alive. Roquet battles. Lucas. Still in the fray, Rayleigh steps in. Ball goes out of play onto the blast bench. We're gonna kick in for Kansas City. Quick shot here, save. Well, Vanzella sticks the paw out and makes the play. William, slow to get up. William, deal, I'm gonna, you know, I would say William is dealing with age. But I think I'm with injury, but I think William really dealing with age instead of injury right now. And he's going to probably get mad at me about that, but you know, we've had conversations. And you know, it's, I, I told him, I said, well, wait till you're 50. <laughs> I was going to say, Paul, if we're going to talk about anybody dealing with age here. But... No, I think, you know, with Vanzella, you know, you talk about his career, and yeah, it's 10 years in the indoor game, but he had an entire outdoor career yeah. leading up to that, right? Like, he had an international indoor career before coming here. So, you know, you say, oh, it's only 10 years. No, it's not. Good chest ball up ahead. Anderos runs by. That allows the shot from the far side. That goes into the crowd. Kansas City is not doing what Donatelli did the far side. They're just ripping it. Yeah, they're letting, they're getting underneath. It's, it, it's they, interesting. You see, we saw Mello with that touch. wasn't wasn't hard. Mm -hmm. It was just well meant. And then we saw Donatelli on the power play. Yeah. Well, and again, you you play to the strengths of your field, right? Oh. Dangerous play in front. Mello loose, and Neto couldn't quite get it, but the Comets come out with it. Oh, good ball for Regett. Regett's drives blocked by Ferdinand. He quickly touches it again. That goes wide. Mello on it, steals it, tries to get around Regett, but Zach uses that big body to shoot him off and win the ball. This is really high-quality soccer right now. Steal, chance, Roquet, touch far side. Mello, he's in, shoots. Oh, nice cut back there by Neto. Take away the far post and make the save. You're not seeing bad mistakes. You're not seeing giveaways. You're seeing a lot of good individual moves. You're seeing great goaltending. Good play there by Palmer as the obstruction call on Obasi. And that was the right call by the official. And Obasi steals. Nice play ahead. Too far for Roque. Ray Lee with the steal. Good ball far side of the box. Obasi takes that away. Onawa with some speed. Okay, oh. Obasi gets taken down and a foul called. Obasi was headed towards goal. That could have been two minutes taken down from behind. So really smart play by Ottawa. He got pulled by the jersey and he was going. And then the referee didn't see the jersey pull. So then he went down, not because he was pulled down, but because he went down so the referee would see it. He never saw the jersey pull when he was in front, though. Thompson with a drive. That's blocked. 
Kick in for the blast on the near side. Thompson runs through. Telly off the boards in front. Shot goal! Thompson off the boards into the back of the net. It's 2 0 blast. What a great play design. The two veterans didn't have to talk about it at all. They both knew. And Thompson just kind of run throughs and, uh, runs through and clears it out. Then you'll see Donatelli follow with a perfectly paid, placed pass off the boards. Take a look. Yeah, this is a perfect job off the glass. And Neto with no chance there. Great reactions by Thompson that time to get to the box and finish with the left foot. I talk about that all the time with younger players, about the patience to let the ball cross your body and finish with the off foot. You use the left foot there, but let it, instead of trying to reach with that right foot right away and get all anxious, wait and let it clear across the body. You've got all that space and time then. Three minutes after their first goal, the Blast score again. And it's another fast start at home for the Blast. Well, it's been interesting because it's different than they've been doing it. As they haven't been repressing, they've been countering a lot. Header that time by Gonzalez into the box, but nice job by Sosa to head that back to his keeper, or chest it back to his keeper. Now good ball for Rickett. Your side, Vovic. It's also funny, I've been very impressed with Kansas City's defense, even though so get try to get fancy. Bicycle kick into the crowd. Been very impressed with Kansas City's defense so far. Individually, despite the fact that they've already given up two goals. All right, distribution for Vanzella. Roquet, double teamed. Foul called on Roquet. Maybe a little bit of frustration there from Lucas. Kick in Kansas City. Gibson. Stolen away. Roquet. Now Pereira. Pressure here. Handled by the blast. And here they come. Roquet with some room. Cross just a bit too far. Thomas ran through. Thomas gives the blast that element up front. You know, Roquet the big target. Here's a giveaway. Three on two. Thomas couldn't find Roque that time, so they'll swing it back around. Obasi, Thomas working hard. Jamie shoots, that's saved. Long rebound comes out for Sodal. What does Thomas do, though? You talked about what he brings. He makes the shot. He's back behind the ball after the rebound. Yeah, just really high energy for the blast. Roque around Gibson. Touch to the Thomas. Thomas bumped off by Neto. Hughes. Talk about Neto, we saw Neto get the, the penalty for the handball. He's a very aggressive keeper. 15 penalty minutes coming in, add two more to that. So 17 penalty minutes for the Kansas City keeper. Good ball for Roque. He tries off the boards. Kansas City clears, but they steal. Oh! Had Juwan wide open if he could have gotten that ball through. Pereira was behind the defense. Gibson touches to the corner. Quick run oh. on, that's saved. Good clear, but through the legs of Pereira. Comets keep it in play with 40 left in the quarter. Manzella might be fighting age, but he's, he's winning right now in this first quarter, man, as he made some saves. Ball to the box. Obasi kicks that away, 25 left. Ball off of the Comets. Will be, whoa. Well, they say Kansas City will have it. Here's Lee. Plays it to the midfield. That could have been interesting for a top of the arc restart. Well, it was off. Well, yeah, if it hit the ball, I mean, I, you know, I, yeah. Correct. Steal. Oh, chance here. Eight seconds left. Cuts it back. Pereira cuts it back in front. Oh, and a great defensive play by Montreal to get back defensively and stop that two on one. And the end of the first quarter, a blast have a two nothing lead. Back with second quarter action after the break here on Twitch.
Every day, all across Maryland, we help employers keep their workers safe from accidents and injuries. We're Chesapeake Employers Insurance Company. At Chesapeake Employers, workers' compensation insurance and workplace safety have been our passion and our specialty for more than 100 years. We help protect Maryland workers because... Connect with your local agent or visit us online. GooseUpCoffee.com. It's just good coffee. All right, welcome back to Baltimore. Blast with a solid first quarter of play. They lead it 2 0 after one quarter of play. Hey, do you think you have what it takes to play in the MASL? Sign up now to be on our mailing list for the 2023 MASL Pro Player Combine. Check out MASLsoccer.com for more information. Money transfers are made easy with Quintus, powered by Western Union. Download the Quintus app today and use promo code MASLs. MASLsoccer.com is your home for everything Major Arena Soccer League. All the latest news, leaderboards, highlights, and more. Go ahead and visit MASLsoccer.com. Well, Blast get two goals in that first quarter. Power play goal at 851, and then a real nice restart from Tony Donatelli to Patrick Thompson for the goal. And though Kansas City, I thought, played a really good first goal. I've, I've come away. The Blast capitalized on their opportunities. They Neto made a couple good saves. The power play was a big difference in the, that first quarter. But I've come away pretty impressed with the Kansas City defense and their ability to handle this small field. All right, Paul, I'm going to bring it up. He's not here to have the argument with you. So I'm just going to bring it up. Did you think it was a good non-challenge? I mean, he didn't get a chance to see the replay in-house to make a decision. Game theory, with it being close, was that a good non-challenge that early in the game? I told you my thoughts yeah. already. It's like... So even with that being the first goal of the game, you're still comfortable unless it's not the fourth quarter, it doesn't matter. Either. There's going to be, if it's a close game, there's going to be a much more important play somewhere in that fourth quarter where you want to hold your challenge flag for it. I can actually hear Lee's teeth gnashing from, <laughs> from watching. Now, if you ask me, I agree. I think the fourth quarter is when you need it and you hold on to it. I mean, look, uh, but it, I it's, understand Lee's. It's, it's all different, too. If, if you throw you the, your flag and you win the challenge, you get your flag back. That's different. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's just to have one, uh, you know. No, it changes the whole game theory, absolutely. All right, let's take a look at the first half stats. Kansas City, seven shots on goal, blast 10. Didn't feel like that. I thought Kansas City had more. I guess they're not counting the ones that got blasted out. See uh, the ball bounce up in the air there. Three blocks for the Comets, two for Baltimore. Baltimore, three fouls to Kansas City's four, and both goalkeepers, five saves. Three-line violation goal. on the Comets. Do a restart here from the yellow for the blast. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Donat got to move two feet there. Donatelli and Roquet. Donatelli drive, that's blocked. Gonzalez tries to settle, takes a wild bounce off the boards. Nice clear by Kansas City. And Regets off of Thompson into the hands of Vanzella. I can't say enough about the addition of Thompson and what he's done. I mean, we've seen the goal scoring at home. Five goals in his last four games at home. But defensively, he does the little things really well, and he hustles. He's always running. Santana plays it back for Vanzella. William drags some time. Dangerous pass for Santana. Nelson in a bind. Can't go back for Vanzella now. It's fouled and bailed out there in the corner. Quick restart, and out come the blast. Nelson just used his big body that time to get himself out of some train, some danger. Well, I think he used his big head there, right? Like uh, he got himself in a situation where he earned that foul. 
Sosa pushes Ricardinho away, but he gets it back and now breaks out. Okay. Back for Ricardinho. Off the boards in front. Ferdinand was lurking, but Neto got a hand on it. Good flick forward and onto the foot of Marks. Marks triple teamed and finally clears back to the midfield. Flores. There's Sosa. It's the return pass near side. Sosa looks blocked by Ricardinho. Another shot blocked by Ricardinho. Now the backspin goes right back for Van Zellen. Does he get a shot there? <laughs> I mean, William gathered that in the middle of the box, so probably not. Oh, that was a weird bounce. Bossy holds too long and gets called for the foul. Gotta go forward. Gotta go forward. Bad things happen when you stop in your defensive end. Kansas City has to get onto the ball here. The boards cleared by the blast. Nice work by Hughes. Hughes on Ray Lee quickly. Blast love to pressure in that midfield and create turnovers. Manzella off out of the box to clear. Obasi with a slick play. Thomas cut off along the boards. Double team taken away. Nice spin move. Now Hughes and a push in the back by Thomas on Ray Lee. And we'll get a kick in. We're going to restart opportunity here for the Comets. Dangerous space there. And again, Obasi unable to clear up along the boards. Last will pay for it here with a dangerous opportunity for Kansas City. Sosa, take this, drives, that's blocked. Another good block by the Blast. The one-man wall block. A tough angle there, so not a whole lot to shoot at. Kansas City has had some good offensive possession time here to start the second quarter. Bossy challenges Gibson, that's clear. Nice job by Donatelli to keep that in play. Now he heads it to the midfield. Gonzalez touches to Donatelli, far side. Thomas, good read by Sosa. Gibson uh, now. Rough touch by Tony, because he could have had to give and go. He would have been the recipient of that one. Steal, Ray, Ray Lee makes a bad pass. Obasi now. Thomas battles Gibson. Onoa clears, off two players. Last break out as Kansas City out of sorts a little bit defensively. They finally recover. That was a clear handball, but the referee called advantage oh, play, there. Play on. Yep. Good call. Oh, absolutely. Yep. Pereira. Size for Thompson on the break. Roque, dangerous header back. And now quickly onto the foot of Thompson. Tries for Mello far side. And just couldn't quite execute there. Last had numbers. Mello, all that movement, he just stayed right in position, right? You can do whatever you want with your feet. I'm just right between you and the goal. Flores for Lee. Sodal. Now they swing a far side. Do it again. Mello with some good D over there. Just nowhere to go. <laughs> Now, finally, Mello pushes Palmer off the ball. Quick flick towards the box, chested down, headed back by Pereira. A little bit of a dangerous play. <laughs> a little movement to it, didn't it? Manzella gathers. Long pass for Gonzalez. That's cleared away by Lee. Chested down. Back come the Comets now. Ball taken away in the midfield. Really drops it for Mello. Nelson Santana in the midfield. Mello goes around his man, has some space. Mello cuts it back, gets taken down. They say play on. Rayleigh steals it back. Now quick touch here. Now Pereira. Pereira loses the handle. Palmer on his back on the way back. He's looking to change and he'll get off the field and Get some fresh legs onto the field for the comments as we've played over five minutes here, second quarter. 
far side. Ball up the boards, Ragettes heads it into the mesh. And a goalkeeper distribution for Vanzella. Love to see the minute tracker for him. He hasn't been on the field very much, has he? <laughs> no, he has not. You see this pressure by Kansas City. Three Kansas City players on this in the midfield. Yeah. They've been able to hold the high press and the brass blast haven't been able to break it. They've had they were okay. The target no. forward down isolated, but they can't find them. The blast have broken it, but they just haven't made that final pass right. to the wide open man. Yep. Okay with some space. He gets the ball taken away. Here's a chance. Forget shot save. Right into the breadbasket of Vanzella. <laughs> space. He is so angry because not only did he not score, but he knows he has to hear that from William Vanzella for the rest Here's of the year. Dangerous play. This goes off the boards and over. So we'll just get a kick in for the blast. It was that close he to being really top lucky. of the arc yeah. reach start. Inches from a top of the arc restart or a three line violation. It was only a foot away from the three line, yeah. Okay, can't settle along the boards. Good clear here, but Rayleigh cleans that up for the blast. Manzella takes his time around the boards. Rayleigh's pass is stolen away. Thomas wins it back. Here comes Jamie now. Why oh! Wide open man, and Gibson saves the day. How about that defensive play? Thomas pushed off, no call. Chance down on the far side. Unsettled situation for Kansas City. Uh, I'll tell you what, the Comets are living on the edge right now. It's two from Leo Gibson there, are just absolutely incredible. The skin on the top of the shoe, the, the tongue sticking out. Good battle, Santana and Riquette. Foul, foul called here on Santana. <laughs> Chance here, quick shot, goal. Finally, the Comets break through. Flores scores. Flores got it through the wall, past Vanzella, and the Comets are on the board. They cut it to 2-1. Yeah, Jeremy Raley screened off Vanzella. And just a well-placed shot. And you got to get a deflection there if you're the defenders it comes across. See on the replay, I think he might have even gone five hole on Raley. He was a little late coming out, and it did. Nothing Vanzella can do there. And Raley's just got to be quicker on closing out. He's got to be further out there. Time out of the floor. We'll take one, two, 7.53 left in the second. Last lead at 2-1 over the Comets. Back with more on Twitch. Every day all across Maryland, we help employers keep their workers safe from accidents and injuries. We're Chesapeake Employers Insurance Company. At Chesapeake Employers, workers' compensation insurance and workplace safety have been our passion and our specialty for more than 100 years. We help protect Maryland workers because... At the end of every workday, someone's waiting for your safe return. Connect with your local agent or visit us online. Jack's playing baseball now, and Sam inherited her dad's love of chemistry and his teeth. And I'm learning that having a family is expensive. Well, at Wise, you can find plenty of ways to save on things your family loves. And less money on groceries means more money for... everything else. That's awesome. That's Wise. Eat better. Spend less. That's Wise. GooseUpCoffee.com. It's just good coffee.
We'll have the restarts. Don't forget to catch MASL Monday every Monday night on Sirius XM, channel 157. It's on at 10 o'clock Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. Alex Bastovnatsky joined each week by special guests from across the league to recap the weekend's games and discuss the league's hot topics. 2-1 blast. Talking about this one, we'll be talking about the other one in Milwaukee as well. Quick shot by Donatelli is saved. That game kicks at 7.05 tomorrow, 9 o'clock tonight. The Utica City Football Club travels down to Chihuahua to play the Savage down in Mexico. Good turn shot off the cross, off the post by Donatelli there. Last missed a chance. Donatelli gets hit in the face. He's going to try to, you know, what's he going to do here? It looks like he's going to try to stay on Flores fouls Obasi. Now Donatelli comes off. Friendly fire there. Whew. I think he was checking to see if all his teeth were still there. Herrera with a step, but he drives it off the, the mesh. Went through the mesh, ripped it off the pole. The goalkeeper distribution for Neto. Think everybody's okay over there. That was... I don't know if I want to be sitting in those seats without the mesh. Three lines. Tough one for Gibson. It just barely crossed the line. Kansas City saying it touched the boards. I don't believe that it did. I don't even think it was close to touching the boards. Yeah. Neither did Shane Butler. And we have a top, uh, yellow line restart. Plus Gonzalez near side here. Instead they go far side, Roquet. He shoots it into the bash. <laughs> it's this side. Uh, again, we talked about it. Talked about it. You want to keep that on goal. Blast. Break the pressure, but it's behind Thompson. Manzella out to play. Pinballs into the corner. That's a nice clear by Thompson. Okay, can't win it. Raguette does. Plays it off the boards. Rayleigh clears. Here's Pereira now. Pereira had a step. He's got a runner. Here's Mello. Mello in. Oh, cross for Roque. Shot. Saved by Neto. And it's clear it'll be a top of the arc restart, but what a save oh, by Neto. Are so you kidding me, Neto? I mean, Mello and Roquet playing that 1 2 game, and how did he get a foot, arm, leg, whatever he did to knock that down? Incredible save. Take a look. Here's the restart. I don't know what that was, but Kansas City steals. Zella with a good touch for Donatelli. Off the boards, back for Donatelli. Donatelli with a step, cuts in, shoots. That's blocked out in front. Ferdinand was down in the box, and now Max gets called for the foul. How many guys are they going to blast have behind a defender with nobody in the goal, and the pass doesn't get through? That's got to be four now. At least. It's insane. At least. But, I mean, Kansas City's living and dying by it. They're, they're living right now, right? Quick shot off the glass. Foul called on the blast. <clears throat> Another restart opportunity for Kansas City. Shot blocked. Keep it alive. Lee pressured. Stolen away by the blast. Santana comes out with it. Santana hounded by Raget. Uh, delayed blue. blue card coming out. Now Raget goes down. So it was a delayed blue, and now Raget's reaching up to the face. They're going to say, as he was pulled down, Vin's, uh, yeah, Nelson's arms definitely come up, but there was no he's pulling him down. movement. Right, he's clearly pulled down. The foul had been called. Let's take a look. I mean, clearly run. So we're, uh, yeah, I don't know. The arm, the arm swings up. I don't no think his, was it his arm or his shoulder? Whatever it was, something swung. I mean, there was arm, but I mean, he was pulled down. It won't be. It'll be a power play. It won't be a penalty shot. A 
Blast back on the power play. So Shane explains that to Tony that he called it well before he got the contact down low, right? So makes sense. Blast scored the first time. Let's see what they got this time. Mello and Roque exchange passes. Gonzalez out there. Pereira, Donatelli. Swing it to the near side. Donatelli. Oh, far post shot. Goal! Gonzalez puts it home. It's 3-1 Blast. I'm going to go out on a limb and say this Tony Donatelli guy might be able to make a living in playing soccer. How about that pass all the way down through low? Finally, a pass gets through. And the Blast capitalize. I well, mean, the it, finish is nice. He it, touches the ball. But... It took a while, right? right? I mean, the first one somehow got saved, right? Let's take a look. As he hits the boards with the right foot and then finishes with the left. Yeah, he had to pull it back. But, I mean, what a pass. He had all that time because the pass beat everybody, including the goalkeeper. It went down. Neto was playing really aggressive there. You saw him out by the penalty, the corner line. I mean, he's just playing aggressive. And, Difference right now in this game, Paul, is the two uh, power play goals for the Blast. Yeah. 